Good afternoon, people watching Miss 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you a verse of scripture, this time out of Revelation. I find that fitting. Revelation 21, 6. This is when everything will be over. The rapture, the tribulation, the second coming. And it says here, And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to scripture. That's how we're saved, why we're saved, and how we're kept saved. Through his death, burial, and resurrection. His blood. It is grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are uh, protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time. Especially with this news that's coming out. And you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you. And change you if you let him. So I got this news and I'm going to give you this first. Nigeria. This is bad. And this is further confirmation that the dollar is going away quickly. Nigeria has announced it will no longer accept the United States dollar as payment for its oil. Folks, this is beyond bad. Nigeria is one of the world's most largest exporters of black gold. The country's authorities have looked at the recent experience of other experience of other countries decided to introduce mandatory payments for hydrocarbons in the national currency. They will no longer that that <laughs> that right there is a killer of the dollar. Um let me see something. So, I don't know how long it's going to take to, uh, for it to go into effect, but this is really, really bad. Now, let me give you the latest about what's going on with uh, Israel. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, with this, and this is off a of telegram. Iran is preparing its military for war. Now they're talking, what they're talking about doing is, uh, and this is from the New York Times, and this is from the leader, the Ali uh, Khamenei. He has given orders to prepare war with Israel and to respond to Israel's retaliation. Four Iranian officials told the newspaper that the extent of the Iranian re response will depend mainly on the extent of Israeli attacks. So, according to the sources, if the Israeli attacks in response to a barrage of missiles from the Iran earlier this month cause extensive damage and many casualties, Iran will respond with as many as a thousand ballistic missiles against Israel more than five times as many as it was launched in early October. Now, let me give you an article about that. And this is off the Times of Israel. It says here, we will destroy you. This is from the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps chief that says that that air defense systems won't protect Israel from future Iranian attacks. I hate to say this, he's right. He's right. Now, 
Iranian, because of the fact, now let me give it to you off of Telegram first before I get into this article, but unfortunately he might be right because the THAAD system cannot overcome the Iranian glide hypersonic missiles that can invade the U.S. THAAD, okay? their air defense system. So Iran has an hypersonic missile that can reach, wait for it, that can reach Tel Aviv in 400 seconds or, again, wait for it, 6.66 minutes. Okay, 6.66 minutes. Yeah, so Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Chief Hossan Salami warns that the advanced U.S. missile defense system recently stationed in Israel won't be able to ward off future attacks from Tehran. Did the U.S. know this before they did, before they gave this away? That's the question. So, just as the Arrow anti-missile system did not work during Operation True Promise 2, the THAAD systems will not work either. It says, do not rely on the THAAD. They have limited capabilities. Again, did the U.S. know this before they gave this to uh, Israel? Were they aware of this? That's the question. That is the question. Now, this article goes on to say just as the same thing that I just said here. It says that that or thermal high altitude area defense system is a critical part of U.S. military's layered air defense systems and adds to Israel's already formidable anti-missile defenses. So what happens now? You just have to wait and see. Now, this caution came in also a few minutes ago, and it says it probably will be overseas, but this is a report uh, anyway. It's saying, it's saying that worldwide caution alert from the State Department. This is from a State Department level. It says that social media posts on various platforms are calling for possible demonstrations that are going to probably be violent in the U.S. and Israel facilities today. Um, U.S. citizens should avoid demonstrations and exercise caution. Now, could this be a false flag like that little uh, UFO thing? I don't know. I don't know. But the thing about that uh, article that I did last night about the UFO... And it, it having um, been a year is happening on the exact year that Israel went to war last year with Gaza. The same, someone pointed this out to me and I totally forgot about this. Before Israel became a nation in 1948, in 1947, Roswell had a UFO crash almost to the exact date that Israel became a nation in 1948. This crash happened in 1947. So again, everything has to do with Israel. Everything is focused and centered around Israel. Could this be Satan's way of distracting everybody away from Israel? It could be. It could be. I'm going to be honest with you, the Antichrist is definitely on the scene. Who he is, I don't really care. Because, like I said, the church won't be here to see him anyway. I could care less who the Antichrist is. I'm not doing videos about the AC. I'm not doing videos about anything like that because I don't care. And if you're saved and born again, neither should you. You won't see this beast. I don't call him a man. I call him a beast. You won't see this thing. <laughs> because we won't be here to see him. Now, I'm also getting... Um, let me see. 
So um, the U.S. is also um, sending um, 10 KC-135R refueling aircraft with F-16 fighter jets are heading towards U.S. bases in the region. So the U.S. is preparing for something. So this update came out too. I'm looking at all this on Telegram right now. It says uh, the U.S. Central Command is deploying 10 Boeing KC-135 uh, strato tankers to the Middle East, most likely in support of the IDF's coming strike on Iran. I'm still curious about this THAAD missile system that the U.S. sent over there. Did they know that that system will not protect Israel against the incoming missiles that Iran has? That's what I'm curious about. Did they know this before they sent it over there? This is just in the Iran Supreme Leader orders military to prepare for war with Israel. This just came in about 15 minutes ago. And it says here, this just came in also about 10 minutes ago. It says a massive squadron of at least 12 United States Air Force KC-135 refueling tankers are headed towards the SETCOM region. So something is going on right now. Um, yeah, something is definitely going on. I got another one. It says, U.S. Central Command confirms F-16s arrived in U.S. bases in the region. Um... Clerics in Iran vow decisive response to any Israeli attack. It was limited, but now is any attack. So, yeah, something is going on. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they, if something didn't happen uh, this weekend. Not in the least. So I'm going to uh, link the articles from the Times of Israel and the fact that the New York Times picked up the fact that Iran is preparing to launch 1,000 ballistic missiles at Israel. So we'll see what happens here. But I'll link this in the description box and I will be back later. Thank you.